Hi, it's another one of Dave's quick reviews this time of the Batman vs Superman Armoured Batman MMS 349 It's been out for a while but I've only just picked this up so I thought while I've got it I'll uh, let you have a little look so that's the top of the box that's what the front of the box looks like then you take it off and you've got this inside Rather nice, tells you who's done what on it. Looks good. <clears throat> and then when you take that off, you've got the usual tray inside with an extra one, extra two and a half pairs of hands. Shows you on the thing, different hands for doing different things, the pointing one and holding things and fists and what have you and all the do's and don'ts, there's not a lot of flexibility in it which is a bit of a shame, you could do with a bit more you know really, a bit more movement but you can't have everything head comes off nice and easy as well to turn the light up feature on So that's one of the extras you get, which is this gun, which extends. Looks very nice. Nice close-up look. And then you get two bullets for it. One closed up, and then that one. Where it's popped out, I don't know. I've only seen the film once, wasn't really impressed. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll go in the end of the gun. But yeah, nice little extra, and you can hold that. And then, you get the man himself. Splendid. It's pulling forward a bit. You get two face plates, which I forgot to show you on that. Get out of the back. That's the other one. I think there's like a a deluxe version of something where you get more face plates or something, but. This is the uh, MMS 349 version. But yeah, the armour looks really good. Quite impressed with it, really. Like I say, the movement is terrible. But the outfit itself looks really good. And you're not going to have him in really extreme poses anyway, because of what he's like. Yeah. Paintwork, brilliant as you'd expect. Cape, all ragged. Show you a bit behind that. Good. And the head just pops off. I've got him loose at the moment. And then inside is like the smallest screw ever. And they don't include a screwdriver, which is a crying shame really because you're going to struggle unless you've got the tiniest Phillips head screwdriver or posi head screwdriver, you're not going to get that open. Uh, three batteries which come with it. You turn it on, and I don't know if you can see that proper. I think you can. Hang on, see if we can turn it off with one hand. Find it. Oh, yeah. So that's the off, and that's the on. 
looks pretty good. And then he just pops on. If I, I'm going to say, I'll just have to put you down a second. There we go. Now he's on properly. Not a great deal of range of movement. Side to side is like the best. Up and down, not great. But, <clears throat> like I say, it's not that big a deal. You're not going to have him in stupid poses. And I do like the stands on these. So I'll just uh, take him off a sec. You get the uh, steel pole with it. And then I can do it. There we go. That pulls up. When I'd seen other pictures, I thought these lit up, but they don't. It does look good, but whether he'll actually stand like that. Oh, yeah, he will stand like that. That's another thing you get, like a grappling hook, I think it is. Doesn't really sit in his hand that well. Oh, it's not bad. But yeah, it doesn't look bad with that Superman logo up at the top. So yeah, if you want something for, for dynamic poses, don't get this. If you want something that just looks pretty cool and different to all the other Batman outfits, then yeah, it's a good one. Especially if you can pick it up cheap. So yeah. Till the next time. I'll see you again. Bye.